Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, August the 26th, and it's 10.43 a.m. And I want to thank everybody who prayed for me. And thank you for suggestions and for uh, telling me about different channels that uh, do deliverance. And... Um, Oh, dear Holy Spirit, I ask you to please speak through me. Let me use this as a teaching moment. I pray that this is received in the manner in which it was given. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, here's what happened. You all know that I've been, um, I, ha I am actually on... The Grafted In Team Jesus team now. And have been a while, a few weeks. Well, I had asked uh, them to not invite me every night about four nights ago. Because I was kept falling behind in my emails and answering comments and stuff like that. And I think I was really pressed press to pressing myself, pushing myself, pushing myself to, um, you know, keep up and participate in their life. Uh, we get on and we can chat with each other and see each other. And it's really neat. Okay. Well, this Grafted In Team Jesus is a deliverance ministry. It's a heart healing and deliverance ministry. They have been shown by God that all of us need heart healing and deliverance. Or at least most. Okay. Several years ago after I got on YouTube, one of my subscribers, Born for Battle, Chris, I mean you know him, he asked me, he's one of my very first subscribers, and he asked me, did I ever consider that my illness was spiritual and that I might need deliverance? And I told him that, well, people had suggested that, but I didn't really believe it. I said, but I'm open to anything right now. Because uh, I just would like to be done with it, you know. <laughs> well, the Lord has taught me a lot about my illness. Like that my brain was assaulted. I've learned about vaccine damage. Put two and two together. He had told me I had a, a virus. Well, he told my daughter that when she fasted and prayed in 2001. What was wrong with my mother? And she fasted three days. And the Lord told her I was sick, did have a virus, and did need my medicine. Well, he had told me in the meanwhile, go look up the Epstein-Barr virus on your computer. Well, that was the buzzword at the time for how, for what was maybe wrong with people who had chronic fatigue syndrome. Most doctors were calling it in the 80s chronic fatigue syndrome. Many of them still do because that's what the CDC has been telling them. While the, and I have to give credit to the organization known as WHO, the World Health Organization, most other countries were still calling it myalgic encephalomyelitis okay I said all that to say the Lord told me when I the first time I heard from him in 2001 when I cried out to him Lord what is wrong with me I feel like I'm dying of bone cancer he said I got this thought popped into my head Go look up the Epstein-Barr virus on your computer. I don't know if I've ever shared this in a video or not. Well, by the time I got inside 
I was watching my grandson. I moved to Birmingham to watch my grandson for my daughter. He was one. He was laying down for a nap. I actually went outside on the front lawn in front of our little apartment. Oh, Jasper, please stop that barking. So much going on here lately. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I had been smoking. Yes, he can speak to you even if you smoke. But I had a demon. I had demons in me that I had brought from where I moved from. Even though I was trying to live holy, I repented of my sins. I was going to church now three times a week, every time the doors were open. If there was a special event, I was there then. Later, we became, oh, we got on the homeless ministry, and we'd go Saturday mornings and pack sack lunches. Okay, so anyway, the point is, uh, things you do in your past can open up doors for demons. Well, they will open up doors for demons. They're chomping at the bit to get into your kids. Let me tell you something. They're chomping at the bit to get into you, especially at this late hour. But mine came in probably part, partly because I was Catholic. And when I was baptized as a baby, I was claimed for the Catholic Church. They said it in Latin, so my parents didn't know. And I don't know how they do it now. But the words they say is actually claiming you your soul for, the, for Satan. Okay? This is why you need to come out of the Catholic Church and denounce it. Your soul has been claimed. That doesn't mean that if you are living right and if you are part of the first fruits rapture that you won't go. Now, I want to explain this. Okay. I asked you all to pray for me. I want to stay on track here. Let's stay on this. Now that I've given you that little bit of background. You know, I've had three marriages. Some of you know. And I dated in between the marriages. I always thought I had to have a man in my life. I was an adulterous whore. Okay. There's no doubt about it. I know I got the demonic spirits attached to that with my first husband. All right. I had been delivered of four demons already. One of them was Jezebel. You think that that would have done the job, right? Well, even though they didn't cause my illness, at least Jezebel, I know, could push buttons and make it worse. Well, this ministry I am in now, I asked you all to pray for me, and I asked them to pray for me. And Kathy called me yesterday. And said, I need to talk to you. I want to pray for you before we go do our live stream. Or go on the call. That's when we all gather and talk and discuss things before she goes live to make a video. Okay. I said, great. That would be great. Well, I didn't know she wanted to do a deliverance. But I told her I didn't know if this was a spiritual attack because it came from nowhere. I Usually when I have convulsions, I have overdone it. I've cleaned my apartment. Or I haven't had enough sleep. Deprivation of sleep will always cause it. Or something really stressful that causes me to um, maybe stay up. Well, that's part of losing sleep, praying more than usual. But because I'm not a real, I'm not a real worrier. I don't worry about these events coming up, like prophecy events. 
But there's other things in my personal life. And like when Buddy died, I cried so much. You know, that kind of thing could cause enough stress for me to have some kind of convulsions. Okay, well, come to find out, I still had a couple demons hanging out inside of me. And I found out where they came from. When? At what point in my life? And both times were before the deliverance of the four demons. Before I had a YouTube channel. The first one was from my first husband. Yeah, he was abusive in a lot of ways. And I got the spirit of Leviathan. And I had no idea. My kids thought I had a deaf and dumb spirit. Because that's the spirit that causes seizures. But I don't have seizures. They're muscle spasms. And they're for real. From my muscles being made to do more than they want to do. Okay, the other one turned out to be a spirit of witchcraft, which came from rebellion against the Lord. When my last husband and I separated like the third time, he gave me a dream, my first dream ever involved him. And it, its interpretation was clear. That if I let him back into my life, he would take me down. Well, the last year of our marriage, he was never at home. He would work, he would come home, he would grab a bite in front of the TV, and off he would go to his meetings, supposedly. Well, so, okay. I didn't care. I didn't care. My love for him had died from the way he was before even that last year. But I had tried to make that marriage work. I did. After he had gotten cleaned up, he had been counseling with the pastor, and he, I told him about the dream. And he told me later, he said, you know what? When I came to your door in the dream and said I would like to take a hot shower because where I was living didn't have any hot water, he said that was true. The guy I was living with wouldn't pay for gas, so we didn't have hot water. I had to take a cold shower every night. So I know that dream was true, which is why he started counseling with a pastor. So after a few months, and I was living in his aunt's property, on her property where his boys live, she called him over to fix our plumbing. And he got into a wreck. My, my. He got into a wreck on the way to Walmart to get plumbing parts. And no, you didn't. 10.56 a.m., why did you black out? There's no reason for my computer to be blacked out. I, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over this. I hope y'all heard me. 10.56. Hmm. All right, I'll look it up. File, new tab. He was on his way to buy plumbing parts. I can't forget where I was at. 1056. Of Hebrew origin, H1551. That's the origin. And that means Galilee which means circuit, the name of a region of northern Palestine. No, that's just, or circuit. Okay, so that doesn't mean anything to me. Let's go with H. H, T, 
ten fifty six. I don't know if these are from the Lord or not. I just want to look it up to see before it seemed like whatever I was talking about, the word was a confirmation. But then my computer's been messing up lately, and I think it's the devil trying to stop me. Baca, which means weeping, or a valley in Palestine. Its name probably gloomy and sterile. Hmm. I'm not feeling it, so I'm going to go back to what I was saying. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to keep your hands off of my computer and stop messing it up. All right. So, he's on his way to get a plumbing part. Some lady talking on the phone, a van full of kids. He sees that, and instead of letting her hit him, he pulls to off the road and runs into an 18-wheeler where the guy is taking a nap right at the exit. He broke his hand. He calls me. I borrowed my daughter's vehicle to go pick him up. We went to Walmart, he bought the part, we go to the hospital, he gets his hand fixed. The doctor tells him, it's a miracle you weren't killed. Yeah, it was. And all that together, and him telling me how he's been counseling with the pastor, and he seemed so different and so nice, I let him move back in, because he didn't have a way home. And he lived pretty far away. Y'all, I just, I have, you know, and that is what came to my mind as she was saying, first she asked, are there any other demons left? We've done gotten rid of the lesson. Okay. Then she wanted to make sure we got it all, so uh, she said, what is your name? If there's any left, what is your name? And some people don't believe in finding out their name, but she does. She and Dan do in their delivering. Because it's good to know what you're dealing with. I thought it was deaf and dumb spirit. But no, it was Leviathan and rebellion the Lord told me a couple things before that I did not do and he told me if I let that man back in my life his demons were going to take me out and at that point because of all that happening and he acted so nice and he was he was um Counseling with a pastor of the kind of church we'd been going to. They were kind of, was kind of like a church plant from the church we were going to. You know what I mean? The pastor came out of that church. So, I let him move back in. And my girls lived there. And Philip, my grandson, they lived there. So... When I told my daughter this years later, she realizes what I had done, what danger I put them in, letting a man live with us that the Lord told me was going to take me out. Now, he didn't hurt them. He loved them. He never hurt them. But when he was gone that last year, he was gone so much. Those demons in our house and in me. See, I had six now. I don't know who two of them were. But I know there was Leviathan first. I got that one first. That caused all the trouble. 
and it ended up getting me, um, I think Ahab and Jezebel, probably from him, the first guy. And masturbation. And then later, the rebellion. And there was an, another one, I didn't know what it was. I just know there was a manifestation when it came out when I was doing it with Derek Prince. Derek Prince videos. If you want to be released, you can be. You have to want it. Or you can type an email to grafted in team Jesus 222 at gmail.com. And Kathy will help you. Or Dan, if you prefer a guy, or both of them. And they can show you how you can see them and they can see you. Alright? Now, having said all that, that might be what was causing me to get sick. I'm telling you, the day, let's see, three days now. The first day it started. It, it would not have kept me from going in the first fruits rapture, I'm positive. But it was trying to keep me from doing the work I needed to do. It was trying to keep me bed bound. I could hardly walk. I was so dizzy. I was like, I felt like my medicine was messing with me. And... The muscles in my legs were trying to have a convulsion, but they weren't yet. And then they finally did. Bad. Okay, see, it. I don't know what reactivated or what brought it awake, unless it's just that because I hadn't been doing that. So I can't really explain that, except that we're near the very end, brothers and sisters. And, and it could be they got a beaten. <laughs> I mean, that dream, wasn't it Dana Coverstone, where he saw all the wolves asleep in the field. And Satan came along, or at least what appeared to be Satan in the dream. To me, I took it as being Satan with a stick. And did he not beat all the wolves and get them awake and got them mad and their eyes started going red? And he said, now get in down there and do your job or something like that. I'm sure some of y'all remember the details better. But they went into the churches, did they not? And they sat next to people and those People playing church didn't realize who was sitting next to them. Which, of course, they would have been people. Wolves in sheep's clothing. And they were just petting them and snuggling up next to them. And I mean, so I'm thinking, those demons got a beaten. <laughs> He said, do your job. Mess her up so she can't teach this stuff. Something like that. I mean, you know, it's all in the spiritual. You get that, right? <laughs> but still, if you are struggling with a sin or even a health issue that may maybe you really have it, but the devil's got, a, you may have a demon that's making it worse. And you haven't wanted to believe it. I suggest you give Kathy a call. Or, well, an email. She'll give you her number and you can get on that live, live thing with her. Whatever it's called. It's a Google Hangout. But you have to have each other's phone numbers. Well, she has to have yours anyway. So she can call you. And then you get connected. And she can see you. 
and that that's that's even better than just watching a Derek Prince video but the Derek Prince self-deliverance videos worked for me for four of them so I pray that even in this last hour if you're especially if you're struggling with a sin you love the Lord you can't understand why you can't quit smoking you've tried You'll go two days and then you've got to go have one. Because there's probably a spirit that's egging it on in your head. Oh, you've got it. I've got it. They'll say it. I have to have one. I can't stand it anymore. Surely Jesus will understand. He knows I love him. And you'll run to the corner store or whatever and get you some. Yes or no? It's hard. It's a wonder I ever quit with all that in me, <laughs> isn't it? So what, what is the harm? What is the harm of trying to get some help? There's no harm can come of it, nothing but help and prayer. If all that comes of it is someone praying for you, great, great, great. Maybe you never did anything so bad that you got a demon in you. Maybe you don't have any familial curses. Oh, that was another thing. Besides being Catholic, my father was in the Knights of Columbus. So I'm pretty sure one of those demons came from that. I need to put a new sign on my door. It's 1110. I think new people, they're new. I think there's new people. They don't know that I have to sleep during the day and I'm, I'm still awake. <laughs> I'm still awake. Wow, I'm still awake. Well, this had to be said. And I wanted you to know there's another source. There, there, there are some other sources people left in the comments under my last video where I asked for prayer. So, if you don't want to use Grafted In Team Jesus or you don't want to try to do it on your own through Derek Prince self-deliverance videos, look in the comments under that video and find the sources they recommend. Okay? Okay. I hope that I said everything I was supposed to say. I asked, I've been praying for the Holy Spirit to use my mouth to say what needed to be said. And I pray that he, he led me to say everything that needed to be said. Once you've given demons a foothold, they're not going to, and you've opened a door and it came in, it's not going to leave until you make it. You can get saved, baptized in the Holy Spirit, and try to live the perfect life, and try, and try, and try. None of us are going to get there until we get our glorified body. Oh, this is another point. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Well, I kind of said it already that I didn't think for a moment that when the first fruits rapture happens or when we're called outside of time, that's how they put it. However it happens, whatever you want to call it, the first fruits rapture is what I call it or the barley harvest is what Jesus called it. Oh, I forgot to tell you what those demons did to me that year he was gone. First, they tried to make me take all my pills. Yeah, and he came home early. The Lord sent him home early and stopped me. 
The next time, they took my bare hands and tried to, like, I guess it was like this. I, I couldn't even speak. However it was, I couldn't even speak. All I could do is pray. Jesus, I can't say your name. Please make them stop. I thought it in my head. And they quit. And I made plans to move out. And that's why I left him. Okay. I had to finish saying that. So you do, you pray about it, and you do what you think you need to do. But don't be embarrassed at the thought of having a demonic spirit in your temple. He's in the outer courts. It is in the outer courts. Our temples, our bodies are made like the real temple was. There's an outer court, an inner court, and a holy of holies. When you became born again, the Holy Spirit came into the holy of holies. It's not filled until you're filled with the Holy Spirit. You're filled, baptized, I mean. Then it becomes filled, okay? And probably overflowing extra into the uh, outer, the inner court. But that outer court, you want that even filled with the Holy Spirit. But I don't know how that works if you have demons in there. I just, I don't know how that works. I used to say, oh, there's no way a Christian that's filled with the Holy Spirit can have a demon. That was my way of thinking. I stayed by it, and look what happened. And I could have been delivered years ago when someone offered to pay mine and my husband's way down to Texas to a one-week course you go through, and then you're delivered. I didn't want to take their money and have them pay for that. I think I was too embarrassed. They were in us. We were in their small group. It was very kind of them to offer to pay our tuition. Did you see that? That glitch in my... Oh, Lord, just please keep my computer running until I'm out of here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection. And over each and every single one of you and all, uh, over my computer, my devices, I'm sorry, let me start over. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over my computer, over myself and my internet connection. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.